public housing uh, f- for Singapore has always been a way to uplift the entire economy where we, you know, we give a lot of support, we give a lot of grants and I mean, mm. uh, the government... Um, so HDB pro- properties are like the first step mm. for uh, Singaporeans to start this asset progression. Right. Yeah, so with all these... Uh, it's, it's a very fascinating topic to think about mm. uh, with like, you know, the supply of HDB and also this... Uh, in relation to the demographics, right? The demographic shift towards uh, more and more uh, more and more aging population where the HDB will now change hands. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think it will have some uh, pretty pretty have some implications on the market. Right? Yeah, okay, take note for that twen- 2010 rule. We missed out one thing is that yes. if you inherit that you have to move in. Yep. Correct. Mm. You have to rent out your prior property. And yes. that is something that is very uh complicated in terms of its policy because mm. Firstly, you have to make sure that the DC is bought before this and then you have mm. to move in. And so you might be living in a landed, but you have to move back to a HDB. Yeah. So most of the time, they might sell. And of course, if let's say there are three kids and the three children, one of them already own a HDB and the will is that this HDB home from the parents needs to be split equally among them and one of them mm. already own HDB, then naturally they will sell yep. because they cannot keep it. And I think if they were to sell, there isn't that traditional like you are the seller, you know, that, that mindset that you want to hit an extremely high price, mm. you might just let go of the property if it reaches the right price. Yeah, right. not the, the rocket high price, but just a right price in the market, you might be able to just let it go and uh, carry on, uh, move on. Mm. Right. But but I, I think, think overall, yeah. Sorry. I think this one will also trigger off um, a ripple effect. Mm. Uh, in a sense that if, let's say, uh, I'm in that situation and I know that, okay, I have this HDBs, that I can potentially cash out. And let's say it is a forum HDB, it's an older flat, let's say at about 500,000. Mm. Split with my sibling, let's say I'll have 250,000. I will then start to think, what can I do in my current property? Can I also leverage mm. on the fact that potentially I'll have these $250,000 of cash coming in yeah. and I haven't even include, I don't know, even a CPF OE that I can potentially extract out from, yeah. from, from the disease, right? Mm. And I use this opportunity to sell my current private property and then I make one final big move. It could potentially be like this because what is, a, what is on a lot of people's mind is that if I don't act on it now, with more cooling measures that might come out in place, it might be harder for my next generation to maybe even own another property. Mm.